setup of, of the tournament? What did you think when you walked out there today? Uh, I was impressed with it. Uh, the courts were much farther apart than we anticipated. And, uh, the back set, courts running, you know, across the field, stuff and down the field was better. That was a great setup. Do you feel like the guys, especially just even though it's a walk through practice, you feel they're kind of locked in and focused and ready to go? You know, Dominic, for the most part, we've been locked in. We've been focused. You know, I, I haven't had much issues with that. That don't mean we all, always have played great. If you can't get locked, in and focus at this time of year, uh, your year's not going to last much longer because every game you play now, it's your last one. So we've had two good days yesterday, traveled today, and had a good good walkthrough. So uh, I like where my kids are at mentally again, yes. You know, they've tried a lot of different things for this conference tournament. If you were if you were commissioner for a day, what would your solution be? Well, uh, probably ask, him, ask me that question after the tournament. Mm -hmm. They'll have some better answers to it. We'll see how it goes. I know there's a lot of experimenting they're doing with this. Uh, give them credit. It's a great facility. Uh, you know, Frisco's a great town. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. I, I think my big, my biggest concern is this, is fans. Is of the teams, the best three or four teams in this league, the five teams, everybody knows who, who those are. The fan bases are so, so far away. And that's what it's about, having an atmosphere for everybody and for these teams and for TV. So that will be interesting to see how that is. How will you guys spend uh, your Wednesday, I guess, coming over here and checking out FAU and UAB? No, we won't watch that game because it's a, if I'm correct about this, it's a 9 o'clock game. Is that correct? Uh, you know, we'll, we got to shoot around tomorrow or walk through a scouting port at another gym somewhere. We're not allowed to get, get in here tomorrow. So we'll go tomorrow afternoon and have a scouting report. And tomorrow night we'll, we'll, we'll rig it up and we can watch that game on TV all together. So. If you know anything that happened, you fully expect probably to be playing UAB on Thursday? You know, anything can happen. But I think it's very obvious if, if we got to prepare, to start preparing for somebody tomorrow, uh, it's going to be UAB. You know, UAB handled them 20 points down at Florida Atlantic, and uh, UAB's playing well, so that's a team that we're going to prepare for. And, if they don't win tomorrow night, we'll have to turn that switch on and figure a way to get ready for Florida Atlantic. How, how much different will it be you know, playing UAB at their place versus coming here to have kind of a different yeah. atmosphere? And you ask me that question again after tomorrow, and I'll tell <laughs> okay. you again. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a little answer on the front end. Uh, they could not shoot it no better than they shot it here than they shot it in Birmingham. I mean, you guys witnessed that. Six out of the first seven threes, 15 for 25 for the game. Absolutely couldn't shoot it any better. So uh, we'll see if we're able to defend that better. We'll see if we're able to do some things better. Uh, and again, you know, people don't forget that they're really talented. Uh, they're that team, again, was picked second at league. I think right now they're just kind of really starting to play those seniors, Oakley and Lee. You know, Lee makes four threes that last game. He only had 14 on the year. Um, so we know we got to step up and be ready. Jake wearing the face mask, I guess, is that from the ODU game where he got popped a little bit? No, he got popped yesterday. Okay. He got popped yesterday and, um, you know, probably broke his nose. No time to get x-rays this morning before we left. It bled. Uh, but fortunate enough, uh, his roommate, Tavion's mask, <laughs> fit pretty good. I think it fits him better than did Tavion. Like I told him, man, if we can get him to play as well as Tavion did with that mask, we'll be in good shape because Tavion was really good with that mask on.